Hey there. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Wednesday, can you believe it? Midway through the week and video number 23. <laughs> oh my, yes. Yes, it is. So, we're using Free as a Bird today and, and some uh, Bird Ballad DSP and having some fun. So I'm so glad you joined me because um, I got lots to tell you today. Lots and lots to talk about today. But um, anyway, well, let's take a quick look at this. So this does come with um, in a bundle right now as, um, well, as a bundle. <laughs> and let me just, here's one of the stitched nested dies uh, shapes. Hey, Marcy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we are, free as a bird, free as a bird. I love these sentiments. I love that this looks like, not my handwriting, but that there's different fonts. And I think I say that every time, but I love that. And the little images, and of course the birdies. Who doesn't love birds? So it is a super awesome set. And um, we're gonna get started. So here we go. Let's just set that aside and bring in the goodies for card number one. Remember this. Remember that I have how many of these still? Yeah, we're using this again. So this is, it's a um, Whisper White Paper uh, die cut using the stitched So Sweetly dies. And if you can see the print on there, I'm not sure if you can, that's the scripty folder. Hey Valerie, welcome. Finally two o'clock, could it have taken any longer? <laughs> Seriously. All right, so let's, I'm like, where's my paper and everything? This is the little piece of paper that we're gonna color on. Mm -hmm. So, so today is not only we're using Bird Ballad, this is um, a really important day for stamping up because, and demonstrators, of course, because this is the day that the retiring list comes out it comes out at 3 p.m so i'm going to post it here on on my uh, business page i'm going to post it um in a newsletter that i have started too many shadows i'm not sure i know i love script d2 it is my favorite that one i won't get rid of like ever 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 okay so there's our little bird and that's tuxedo black so this is just a scrap, just a scrap. And let's close this, because we know what will happen, don't we? So with the retiring list, and I don't think I mentioned this yesterday, can't remember, um, anything that was an in color from 2018 to 2000, yeah, 2020, will go really fast. Um, I want to tell you this before I forget. Light Calypso Coral Stampin' Blend. So the colors are, oh yeah, I had this problem yesterday. I'm going to remember them today. Blueberry Bushel, Lovely Lipstick, Grapefruit Grove, Pineapple Punch, and Call Me Clover. Those will go like hotcakes. So that's any ribbon. Um, definitely the, the re-inkers and the ink pads will go really fast. Uh, there's paper, what did I say, ribbons, anything to do with it. Those colors will go really really fast so if there's something you want be sure to order um, my blog well once my video is up my blog will be posted it'll have the link to shop it'll have all the goodies oh what color are you using sandy uh light smoky slate oh did i forget to say hi i'm sandy stampin up demonstrator here in canada <laughs> okay 23 videos you think maybe i get to forget a few things so simple coloring i'm technically not even going to blend. I am going to go back over just the spots where Stampin' Up! has already put all of these little lines and just make them a tad darker. So if you're afraid of using Stampin' Blends like I was, number one, use Whisper White Paper from Stampin' Up! It's perfect. Um, and then just use them. And now I'm like, I do this all the time. Oh, you know, of course, you know who I am. But you know, this is going on YouTube later. This will not my Zoom on Friday. And if if whoever, if you haven't signed up for my Zoom, um, you need to do it before Friday. 
Okay, you have another day. This will be light daffodil delight. I just wanted to do his little beak. And is this what a bird looks like? Not necessarily. Okay, so, oh, let's see what you wrote here, Valerie. My, made my granddaughter's a grad card using scripty heirloom frames and free as a bird. That would be beautiful. I hope you took a picture. Pictures are important, right? Okay, next. This little piece. So, I know, look how tiny they're getting because all my other ones are, are devoted. Are devoted? They're all um, specific colors in the blues, the greens, but I didn't have anything for this. And you know what else I don't have? Little piece of scrap paper. Let's find a little piece of scrap paper to get rid of some of the color. One moment. Here we go. Okay, because now <laughs> we, oh good, you took a picture, excellent. So I know I don't usually use the wee tiny ones because, well, they just don't take up as much real estate. So just go around on your, oh, Calypso Coral, that would help, on your Calypso Coral pad and take off that initial, see how it made that dark spot? You don't want that. And I'm just lightly making not a specific shape. That's it, that's all it takes. So these are the oval makeup brushes, um, any brand. I don't know what, I don't think it even says on the handle, but I don't think it matters because there's hundred. yeah, it really doesn't say on the handle hundreds and hundreds of different uh, kinds on Amazon and that's where I got mine okay so the next step will be to cut this which if you if you know me you know how painful it is for me to <laughs> to fussy cut I take my time take your time and I have to remind myself at every step Move the paper, not the scissors. Move the paper, not the scissors. But I thought I would save you the pain of watching me do this. Mm -hmm. So it's already it's already done. Now, where did I put... Oh, here it is. I'm like, where did I put the strip where I'm doing the little message? Now, this is a thank you card. This would be good for anything. Um, I had a request last night um, come through from my upline asking 10 of us there we go 10 of us to donate 10 cards thank you cards well i just happen to have that's a little high for me i just happen to have more than 10 thank you cards so 10 it is and uh i will be donating those i believe they're going to frontline workers so i love that love it oh you know what i did my little cutter was it yesterday i got glue on this i do think it is. was <laughs> Alrighty. so our aim in making all these cards is pretty much like i always say we're not reinventing the wheel we are making pretty things and i want things that i make to be things that you can make at home Alrighty, so this is my triple banner punch. You can also use your tailored tag. Um, tailored tag has a wider um, banner on it, and I wanted a skinny one. So first thing you do, upside down, yeah, this here, push it forward. Did I put the words the right direction? <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, so I'm going to back it off because when I did this on my sample, I went way too close and had to redo it. So it's better to do a little, stop moving. I would like it to be straight. It's better to do a little bit. Oh, did I just smudge that? I hope not. A little bit. Okay, back to the first one. Hey, first one, you're perfect. Yes, I make mistakes too. Lots of them. I do try to reuse the paper as much as possible, get as much use out of it, like that little scrap I was using. That is stamped on the other side and it didn't work out, so keep it. Use the other side, you know? All right, so back to my little mini trimmer. And I'm sorry you can't get this anymore. All right, come out of there. I got glue on this yesterday, so um, it's sticking really bad. That's my deal. Okay, so Whisper White Base, five and a half by eight and a half, squared at four and a quarter, and then 
some of the really pretty uh, Bird Ballad DSP. I believe that's what it's called. Yes. Here's the other side with the feathers. Look at that. I wanted this though because I thought it just went perfectly. Okay. Folding lesson. Take your fingers at the end. You've already got the score line on. Line that up. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I have a feeling, Valerie, that your recycle bin looks a lot like mine. And it's it's good. Yeah, because nothing goes in the recycle bin until we're until we're saying we are done with it. Okay, I am not forgetting the ribbon today. And I even have these guys out. Oh, to be prepared, you know. I know it's shocking. All right, and glue dots. Definitely need our glue dots. Okay, so let's see. I might go about there. I haven't really decided where it's going. I thought on my, my sample card, I thought it was just a tad too big. At least we know with our recycle that it's going somewhere good that it will get um, recycled. Now, is that going to be too low? Nah, it's not too low. You got to change things up once in a while, right? Go high, go low, go in the middle, go with whatever works. There. Okay, so we'll finish that after it's on. Alrighty. So, and I already forget if I said, oh, I did talk about the recycle, the recycle. <laughs> Skip recycling. I did talk about the, um, retiring list and my same and it's on my blog on every blog post recent blog post my same shipping special applies there as well to any 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 product really from stampin up whether it's retiring from the mini catalog that used to be called the occasions from the annual cat catalog anything it all applies Ooh, can i oh i can still wiggle that up Yay. Never give up. That's my point. Never give up. Let's put some dimensionals on this. Alrighty. What do we have here? Cut, 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 cut. Alrighty. What do you think so far? I hope you like the card. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it simple. Not only that, I want to make sure I can keep bringing the videos to you. And if I get burned out, which does happen to me, even as a retiree, I get, I get burned out. Um, too much, too much of one thing, you know, I have to change things up. So once in a while, thus, thus the nice, easy cards that you can redo. Now there are words that go a certain direction. So you want that to, Let's go here, 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 <laughs> about here. That looks pretty, pretty straight to me. Now I'm actually going to glue the bird down. Come on, glue. There we go. Doesn't take a lot. Alrighty. Now, and think where this is going. I'm going to go right about here. So that little bit that I did with the um, makeup brush that was simply to give him a little bit of definition in the background get him a little straighter all right before I put that on I'm gonna make a little knot here just a little one I thought about a bow and then I went mm, no I think a knot will suffice let me just see like so if you want to save ribbon Definitely don't take it off the roll until you're ready to cut it and then cut it. And a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit there. So, oh, I should tell you, metallic edge ribbon, and this is in silver. Oh, thank you, Valerie. Sometimes I don't know because when everyone's quiet, which is good because I know you're concentrating. <laughs> when, when everyone's so quiet, I'm like, I don't know. I like it. Mm, I think I could get one more there. Alrighty, and I do like to use this. I mean, you can use your fingernails or whatever you have, but I like my take your pick tool. Alrighty, I think I'll go. 
no, I think I'll go here because if this is here, it's already in line with that and it's kind of like, nope, already have that line taken. I like to mix, mix up the, um, oh, I did that wrong. Hang on, hang on. Since this has already popped up, I have to double pop up this one, if that makes sense. So I popped up this layer and if I go like that, it's going to be on an angle. So if I put two on this end, there we go, then it will be at equal height. And that's what we're looking for. Not done. Have to put somebody's little eyes on. So at the end of the video, now at three o'clock, I am a busy girl. Very, very busy girl because I want to get the get into the Stampin' Up website, get the the um the link up for you to look at the uh, retiring products and because I'm a demonstrator, I get to um, I get to view the uh, next the PDF of the new catalog. So if you want to see it, join. And I always have a link to join. There we go. Card number one. Here's the original. I'm starting to run out of the little guys, so they look pretty much alike. But see that how this is high? I should have gone low. That's why I went low this time. And you, if you notice on the paper, you see how much darker this one is than this? That's on purpose. The paper is kind of um, mottled. I don't know if that's the right word. Hey, Denise, welcome. I take it by the happy face with the hearts that you like the card. <laughs> Yay! All right, let's get started on card number two. Strip of paper. And we are using... You know, when you set things down again, there it is. I'm like, where's my memento? Okay, so this is the big bird image because it's so pretty. And we get to color. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you have nails now. Salon is closed. To, yep, 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 I hear you. Okay, big stamp means that we bring the ink pad to the stamp. Store these upside down so the ink stays at the top and then you get nice crisp images until you have to re-ink, of course. Okay, so this is just a scrap. Yes, this will be fussy cut as well. Oh, I, you know what? Oh, not very dark there. That's my fault. Somebody didn't ink up properly, but that's okay because you know we are going to. You know I have one waiting in the wings. <laughs> it is such a lovely set. Um, I do hope it doesn't retire, but if it does, get it okay so what I'm doing is I'm using again and I'm gonna have to get a new one I'm wrecking the tip on this one and it's running out uh, light daffodil daffodil <laughs> daffodil to light oh, I just make it up as I go along I swear so not shading and I'm also not coloring in the entire birds. It's, I will show you, I have a bunch of other cards that I'm donating um, on the weekend, the thank you cards. I think they're all thank you. And I'll show you some other styles. So this one, clink, that was my glasses. <laughs> my reading glasses hitting the lamp beside me, clink. I know, it doesn't take much to humor me, you know, really, okay. Easy, what on earth did I just do there? As I say, easy coloring, and then I'm like, what did you do? Now this one needs more to keep up with that one. A little bit more. Okay, so this fussy cutting was a whole lot. Um, uh, uh, it, was, it took me longer. I'm not going to say it was super duper difficult. It just took me longer. So here it is here, fussy cut. Uh, am I the best fussy cutter in the world? No. Am I the quickest? Absolutely not. I will not win a medal at all, ever, ever, for my fussy cutting oh, ability. I think I just oh, dropped a piece of paper. Alrighty, let's get the rest of the goodies out here. Because we have more to do. Okay, sentiment. And I always have extras just in case. And here it is. The little flower one of the little flowers okay 
Oh, now I miss what it meant. See, I get all going and then I forget. Okay, which is the scary part? Valerie, we understand and that's the scary part. There we go. I know if I can, if I keep up with the comments and stay focused. Oh, fussy cutting. <laughs> but I do it because it gives such a great effect. Okay, so this little flower, I do like this to dry a bit. So that was the memento again. And because it's not, well, wrong end, this end is a little bit drier. So let's switch to this end. Much better. But yeah, this is on my next order. It doesn't really, there, that's really crappy. If we, if we go outside the lines, that's okay because look, I already fussy cut it. There, a little bit of color. It's to go with that. Let's see if we're three for three here. Let's see if I can cut, if I can get this sentiment straight on the first try or the second or the, I actually have three pieces here just in case. So in other words, I'm just like you, unless you can stamp better. So the first, well, that's messy. The first thing you want to do is not put so much ink on. So I'm just stamping off. Hang on. I've got my, you know, we tend to like be heavy on one side. I noticed that the W is like really, really inked up. So let's do that again, but let's be gentle. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, you're right, Denise. Sometimes fussy cutting is. There's some things that are really easy to fussy cut, and this isn't one of them, but okay. So the first thing is to get your words straight on the block. Now, they may not be straight now because I just put them on my uh, stampin' chamois and gave it a er, which I shouldn't have done. Alrighty, leaning in. Please be straight. Oh, see, I didn't put enough ink on that one. Next. Okay, a little heavier. And then you know what? Then I'm just like, just do it, Sandy. And then wait, there's more. Okay, now let's get serious. This looks really narrow. I don't know that this is the right. If you're like me, you have tons of these. I actually have the drawer in my Ikea little desk beside me. The drawer's full of these. Nice and neat, mind you. I have to bring this closer to myself because I can't lean over anymore. I'm calling that one the winner. Close enough. All right. And we're not done because here's our background piece. That looks pretty plain if I was to put that on there, right? So I had this idea. And the idea was, yes, one of these. So bring in the scrap again. And can't promise a quick turnaround. I hear ya. Yes, I'll send you all my fussy cutting too. Just, yeah. The thing I find relaxing is coloring. And the other thing I like a lot is paper quilling. That is my second passion. So I am, at first I thought I got the green one. Whew, I'm kind of making a circle, kind of. Is it exact? No, if you want it exact, take your layering circle and make yourself, a, like cut it out lay it on top of the paper and then do it. But I'm more the, I'm okay if we go outside the lines kind of gal. I'm perfectly okay with that. All right, it's kind of a circle. It's kind of in the center and it's kind of what I want. So there we go. So it looks like it's assembly time. Oh my. Now, reminder, I have a bunch of, don't forget the ribbon. I, and don't forget these, apparently I do have more. This was my other one. I have um, a bunch more cards to show you when we're done. Okay, same size as the first one, so we won't go over that. Same way. Fingernails or not, you, at least even if they're cut super short, you still have something as a guide. Lay that down. Push away from yourself on an angle. Ta-da! I want it flatter, so just do it again. But this is... Well, this is clearly Daffodil Delight. What makeup brushes do I use? Uh, I bought them off Amazon ages ago. Um, you can just go into Amazon and just say, just put in makeup brushes and you will find so many there that your head will spin. 
find the one with the number of brushes you want. Like, I don't know that I needed the wee teen. I have smaller ones than this, but I wanted a good set of the bigger ones. So I did go for a larger set. I, I, I think it was, it was under $20. Um, I've heard, um, if you watch the Creativity Cave with Dina Rico, um, she talks about hers a lot. I almost put that on the wrong spot. And um, she will tell you, as will I, stay away from things that are called craft brushes because they're going to be so much more money. Okay, go for makeup brushes. So, Liquid Tombow, which is my favorite. You can use whatever you want. This, this gal needs her wiggle time a lot. Because I have to look at it from different angles to see that I have it straight. I love people that can just put them straight down and go, ha ha, look at that. And you know what I forgot, did I? I did. Off. Phew. <laughs> it can be done. Yep, under $20. Yeah, over that... And if you happen to have Prime, get your free shipping. I forgot the ribbon. And what did they say? It was laying right here beside me. I know. What on earth? Oh, you know what I need now? Because now it has glue on the back. No, it won't stick. So this is the silicone um, pad that you can get from Stampin' Up. I recommend it, especially if you're like me. <laughs> well, there's two things I use it for. One is for gluing really fine things. Where do I have it handy? I don't, but let's pretend, let's pretend this is, this is my glue brush. If I have a real tiny little piece, like, I don't know, like this one, I would put my glue on here and then go into the glue and then like so, and then put it on my card rather than trying to glue delicate little parts. It works so well. All right. So turning it sideways, I'm not making a bow. I'm making a knot. And I know I'm doing this different than the other one. The other last card and well forgive me for that because I messed up <laughs> prime my daughter has prime so I just use hers oh ding what does that mean that's that's me hitting my my glasses on the light again every time it's in a different spot because I, I do try to avoid the shadows that should have been cut on an angle on an angle I must get myself new scissors Alrighty, now I want that to sit. So remember that little tip of taking a glue dot, putting it right underneath the knot, and you just say stay, and it will. Okay, so believe it or not, now I don't need this. Oh, you know what? Let's put this gluey thing back on the card base. I did kind of mess up the card base just a little. Oh, and apparently I made a little turnaround on the back. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. So as long as the glue comes out, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Alrighty. Just kind of re-glue that. Oh yes. Well, I know, you know what? I think sharing is a good thing. So we share. Well, what was it I talked about yesterday? I forget what day. All the days, you know. I actually had to look at my just before I started and say it is Wednesday, right? It is Wednesday um, that I use my daughter's um, Netflix. Why not, right? Do I pay for it? Absolutely not. <laughs> I, no one asked that question. I'm just saying I don't pay for it. I might someday if she actually asks me, but she hasn't asked me, so shh. Okay, so I'm popping this up, and I know this isn't something I would normally do with something this long and with, you know, kind of fragile ends, but I looked at it, I looked at it, and when I made my sample card and went, yeah, I think it needs a little bit more. So I popped it up. And let's just keep, I'll just keep putting these little pieces in where they go. wherever they fit. You need you need pretty good coverage, so this is going to look a little bit ridiculous, but I did use the end of that one. Yay! Another one down. That makes me so happy. So happy. I'm smart. Why, goodness. Okay. I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> oh, that I'm, 
that I'm leeching off my daughter? That part? <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Little smaller. Yes, I am one of those people that will cut my dimensionals down to... Hmm. Well, you know, I also figure that I did... I did, I did raise my daughter and paid for everything for a very long time. Um, she's on maternity leave right now, so I probably should help <laughs> when she asks. I already, well, I'm already taking care of her and hubby in my own little way. And off... And off and almost got them all. You know when they're off? When it's all shiny and stuck to your fingers. Here we go. Alrighty. So let's put this on. And right over that little part we talked about. I think I will cut that down a bit. Now if you look at these at these birds, this was my thought, and this is where my brain goes. It looks like these guys are all looking at this ribbon going, hmm, huh, I could use that in my nest. Mm hmm. I don't have a robin's nest. Well, we usually have a robin's nest early spring right outside my front door um, where the robins um, make a nest and then make it difficult for us to come in the front door. Nothing yet. Okay, so I'm going to trim this again with the same one, but again, be careful that I don't get too close. I would say with this, don't rush it. A little closer. A little closer. I notice on my original now that my piece of paper was a fair bit wider. A fair bit wider. Oh, it's so crooked. Well, I'll replace that after. Okay, and then that's the best I could do. I think I could do better. A little, a little, there we go. A little more than I wanted, but I'm going to put this right on here. Just hold it for a second. Oh, and the glue's gushing out. See, a little, not a lot. We'll let that dry for a moment while I get the glue dots, put the triple banner punch away, and put these on the back. I am a pop-up gal. Like, everything, most everything needs to get popped up. All right, we are almost done. Can you believe it? Like, wow. And then I think I have, I don't know, four other cards to show you. I kind of, I kind of have a collection of cards that are using the same stamp set. And I often have extras, extras around. So if I tip this ever so slightly, does it look less crooked? There, there. And then one, because I, I want the birds to be the focal point. And you, get under there. Maybe I could just do, hang on, there. Ribbon manipulation. One right there. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. There we go. Hang on while I, I always have to put the lid on my glue. All right, so let's bring in the cards. So this was my sample. Looks pretty much the same. And then those two again. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so these two, they're getting donated. So this uses the Bird Ballad DSP as well and the Stitch Nested labels. Um, pretty sure I use Crumb Cake, probably Pool Party, pro probably Granny Apple Green. But um, extra, also very simple if you don't want to fussy cut. And then this one is with the, that looks crooked, with the... Um, uh, what are they? Laser cut cards. They come in a tin and it's really cool. So it's already a base. I just had to put that in. Now this is the DSP and I did use one of these just to go over lightly and color that. Because that's what we like doing. <laughs> I This is such a pretty set. Love it. Well, so my friends, three o'clock, set a timer because I'm going to put the link up um, it won't be here in, in, in the video. It will be um, in Lolly and Sand. If you're in my newsletter, you'll get that there as well. And, um, of course, then the shopping special and all that. And if you do want anything off the retiring list, I would be more than happy to be your demonstrator. 
because that would be awesome. Um, don't forget about the Zoom on Friday. Again, you need to message me for the link to come into the Zoom. It's the Zoom instead of the live. So we'll actually be face-to-face -face live. And again, it will not go on to uh, YouTube. It's just, it's just for us. Um, please share my video. Subscribe to YouTube. And my friends, I will see you again tomorrow at 2 p.m. for some more fun. Okay, bye-bye.